And what we want to show you actually is the robot. Yeah, we, we made the robot just to show you that this is actually very simple. So this is actually, you see it's controlled from here. This is just a battery because we haven't, the, the, the cable is very long. Okay, so what we are going to give you, what we are going to give you is literally that module, which is the Wi-Fi. So this is controllable using Wi-Fi, which yeah. means you can control it from even... Uh, as long as both the iPad and the thing is connected to the same network, you can control it. So within the range of the network. What will happen on that day is uh, we will probably have a router that you will all connect to. I will assign you specific numbers that you have to connect to. Uh, then, you, uh, that, yeah, then you can control it. So I mean, more detail on that later. But basically what I'm trying to say now is that it's pretty, in, pretty, uh, pretty simple to build this. Uh, this was done in three days actually. But obviously we are not expecting something so simple. And if you make anything similar to this, penalty. Okay? <laughs> yeah. So, so this is just to prove to you that an iPad can control. So you continue controlling. Yeah, so it can control, right? So what we are going to do is uh, the budget for each group is 500 ringgit. Okay, now, now you really need to listen to me and pay attention to this. The cost of the electronic parts is 425 ringgit, 425. And we would like you to use up to 75 to make your robot. So we would like you to go uh, find recyclable materials, you use motors from old printers, we want you to really go and be very creative. And we want it to look great. We want it to look beautiful. And we want it to be able to do the job. Okay, now, you guys have uh, done your organizational chart, right? For your team. So you have a team leader, I hope. You have a treasurer. So what's going to happen, please pay attention to this. Please pay attention to this. We are going to collect 425 ringgit from each one, from each team. And give you the, the electronic components. Now, at the end of the semester, when you return the components back to us, we will give you back the money. Now, what we want you to do is to appoint a treasurer. So this is like you are forming a company, so you need an accountant. At the end of the semester, you will need to give us back all the electronics in a workable condition and any receipts that you have used to purchase materials for the other part up to 75 ringgit, we will pay you 500 ringgit. So we will, we will need you to keep track of your receipts have a budget so you don't just go and spend the 75 ring it on one component and then after that doesn't work you throw it away and then you say the budget is not enough there is a reason why i am limiting the budget because always engineers will work with limited time limited budget and very high expectations every project that you will be running People will ask you, we want it to be very cheap, we want it very fast, and we want it of the highest quality. So these, these challenges are things that you guys will live with for the rest of your life because you've chose to be engineers. So that's why what I would like you to do is for your treasurer to collect from you an equivalent of four to five. And that's the part which is the cost of the part. So later, if you decide to keep your robot, you just keep it. I, d I don't need to take the, the parts back from you. But for those who would want their money back, then you need to give us the parts in a working condition. There is a reason why we are not giving you the parts because uh, Mike is going to run a training session because if you wire them wrongly, you may burn them. Now, if you burn the parts, you have to purchase a replacement. We will tell you from where to buy it. 
But the ideal way to do it is we will do it right so that we do it right the first time. Is it clear? So I thought it's, it's, it's very important that we show you uh, that this is actually doable and we have uh, been able to control, make a robot, control it with an iPad. And we would like you to be as creative as possible, put things on YouTube, make us all very, very proud of you. Any question? And uh, I really would like you to start uh, doing your work on open learning, start your study group on open learning as well, so that you start uh, thinking of your design and, and, and other things as well. Any question? Okay, so if you have no questions, I would like to thank you very much and uh, see you next week. Thanks.